It's time. We are going to watch something that has been requested so, so much in my comment section and that won the Patreon content vote by a landslide. This is the guy who didn't like musicals. Also, I'm like really hungry, so please excuse me as I eat some popcorn while watching this. <laughs> Honestly though, I feel like it's kind of fitting. <laughs> so, I don't think I've watched... God, how loud was that? I don't really think I've watched much Star Kid stuff at all. I have watched a very Potter musical though, but that would be it. Damn. Straight into it. No time wasted. The greatest stories ever told. Have a hero who must be bold. They learn a sense of right and wrong. Sense through song. Musicals tell the impossible. I, I love the raw theater sound. It gives it like such a unique feel. Like it almost feels like I'm there. We're gonna chronicle a story so astronomical. The last remaining story to tell. The guy who did it like musicals. Who is one of them the guy that didn't like musicals? It's kind of catchy, not gonna lie. Lived an awful prince named Damn, he's got a nice smooth voice. And not singing and dancing with a song. Should we kill him? Should we kill him? Yes. Season. What an ass! What a bitch! What a cock! <laughs> who didn't like musicals. So I'm guessing the guy who doesn't like musicals isn't isn't here because that wouldn't make sense if he was singing. He's the guy who didn't like musicals. Did not like 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 It's the end of the world. Dude, I love the meta humor. We swear we will teach you what it means to love, what it means to obey. They're kind of moving like zombies. Is this intentional? Apotheosis is upon us. Did you hear the word? Didn't expect the YouTube cheer sound effect. Paul's coming. Paul's coming. The star of the show. Now for his headlining entrance. Time to swoon at his leading menaces. His name is in the title. He's destined to go viral. Here he is. His name is Paul. And so now. Oh, of course he of course he wouldn't obey. He doesn't like musicals. <laughs> the guy just doesn't like musicals. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that guy with the long hair's a vibe. This is problematic. I'm already dancing in my chair. Smooth key change. I, I think it's a key change. I can't tell. Maybe just a melody change. Piece of shit. <laughs> Hey, Paul. Yeah? I was trying to print something. I think I might have sent it to your printer. Okay, I wasn't sure if we were gonna get talking, but we are. And personally, I really liked that. I think like, while don't get me wrong, I really liked Hamilton. The fact that it was just constant music actually kind of took quite a bit of energy from me because it felt like I had to be intently listening all of the time. I think little talking bits like this in musicals help give like a natural break for the viewer. But I can totally see why people would do it the other way as well. Yep.
Uh, just remember, uh, you want to print from the HP laser jet, not the HP ink jet. Right. Is he meant oh, to be, no. like, super it's boring? <laughs> hey, Paul. Can I get those reports on my desk by the end of the day? Yes, Mr. Davidson. Great. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hey, Melissa. Uh, were you going to sign up for the company softball league? No. Oh. Uh, well, it, it might be fun. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to, though. Right, so he literally just okay. does well, nothing. Uh, Mr. Davidson wants those reports on his desk by the end of the day. Will do. Oh. CZRP Technical, this is Charlotte. How can I help? Oh, hi, Sam. How are things down at the precinct? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, my day's been you... Uh-huh. Oh, oh, how late? Oh, but, but sweetheart, it's... Sweetheart, it... I'm giving up on the popcorn, it's really stale. <laughs> Try as hard as I could. It's cuddle night. <laughs> well, what do you mean, so what? The counselor says we should do it at least once a month. <laughs> yes, but, yes, but honey, we, we skipped last month. Well, don't you think I'm tired too? All right, maybe tomorrow night then, huh? No, 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 you're right. We should stick to the schedule. Next month it is. All right, well, you take care, Sam, and Sam... So her well, because I love partner's you. kind of an asshole. <laughs> Sam? Huh. Hmm. Oh, Sam. He's doing just fine. Townsend's working out real swell. Oh, oh, uh, Sh Charlotte? Uh, sh I'm sorry, you can't smoke in here. Huh? Oh! I didn't even realize. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> oh my god, this poor woman. Well, I'm gonna go get some coffee from Beanies. Anyone wanna come? Bill? I can't. I gotta keep refreshing this web page. <laughs> Me about everything always. She <laughs> goes home to Clivesdale. Her mother, just to make me look small, took her all the way to New York to see Hamilton. Ugh. And she loved it. So, to prove to my ex-wife that two can play at that game, I'm on hot ticks right now. And the moment more become available, I'm getting two tickets for tonight. Because guess what, Paul? It's finally here at the old Starlight Theater in downtown Hatchetfield. The touring production of Mamma Mia! <laughs> wow, she'll like that just as much as Hamilton. <laughs> it's a musical! Mm -hmm. Hey, you wanna tag along? Alice would get a kick out of it. Remember when you used to bake- Oh, is this where they find out that he doesn't like musicals? Yeah. She thinks you're cool. Maybe you could talk me up a bit. Let her know her old dad's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Bill. No. <laughs> Sorry. You got other plans? Uh, no. So you'd, you'd rather do nothing than come with us to see Mamma Mia? <laughs> Bill, yeah, I'd rather like... do anything than go see Mamma Mia. The idea of sitting there trapped in a musical, <laughs> that is my own personal hell. I'm trying to reconnect with my teenage kid and you're just gonna leave me hanging? Yeah. Bro. Sorry. If you're trying to reconnect with your teenage kid, why would you just bring a random co-worker along when you're taking it to the theater? That'd be weird as shit. Can you imagine? I would hate that. Sorry. Uh, but hey, I'll grab you something from Beanie's. My treat. What do you want? I just want my daughter back. Have a nice caramel frap. Nothing better. Hey, you going to Beanie's? Yeah. You didn't invite me? Sorry, Ted. Do you want to come? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to show you up. He's my favorite character <laughs> already. Come on. I know why you walked that extra block instead of just going to Starbucks across the street. I don't want to give my money to some corporate chain. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You sure it doesn't have anything to do with that cute little barista over there? Huh? That's not the reason. <laughs> yeah, the, uh... He's so annoying, I love him. <laughs> She's, uh, known throughout the land, right? No, it's like, my wife! <laughs> right? <laughs> It's like Borat, right, but hey, give me a chai iced tea, eh? Hey? <laughs> eh? Hey? Yeah. Hi, 
Hi, can I help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a grande caramel frap and a venti cup with 10 pumps of hazelnut, three shots of espresso, no caramel drizzle with whip on top? Sure, that'll be 550. Oh my God. Jesus, fine. 10 shots of hazelnut. 10. Ugh. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I just dipped you. Oh, well, thank you. Aren't you supposed to sing? The sense is dip for a song. <laughs> Yeah, um, that's like a new thing. The owner went to Cold Stone Creamery over the weekend and brought back the whole singing thing. But you know, there's a line and people are working. I don't want to disturb anyone. <laughs> I don't care, I just tipped you, come on. Okay, well did you- Why is you everyone know? so mean? Be an asshole. Fine, I'll take it back then. Oh no, what am I gonna do without that dollar? I have to split with five other people. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm never coming back here. I like her. That sign's bullshit. Oh my god, it's so mean. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, what's the deal over here? That guy just flipped out on me for practically no reason. She wouldn't sing for him. I wouldn't sing for a dollar either. <laughs> Chocolate. Oh, sorry, I'll get right on that. I have very low blood sugar. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. We'll get you a voucher. Why is everyone fighting to be my favorite character? <laughs> I mean, God, maybe Zoe's okay with the whole singing thing because she majored in theater. I think it's a really fun idea, Nora. Why aren't you working? Oh, I'm on vocal rest? What? I'm on vocal rest? <laughs> God damn it, Emma, now I need to make a tea with honey, okay? Oh my God. <laughs> Look, can't- What is happening? This is the, one of the weirdest things I've watched in a okay. while. So then you must not like having a job here then. Hmm? You know what? Just don't even bother showing up for your next shift. What? Are you serious? Wait, 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 wait! Wait... I will do the singing. Yeah, you will. Now move your ass, you got a line. Hi, can I help you? Uh, yeah. Honestly, though, like, that would be so damn degrading. Like, one dollar and you gotta sing. Wait, you're performing monkey? That's so awful. I got an easy one for you, just a cup of black coffee. Jesus, really? I've been brewing up oh, your no, coffee. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, uh, That's the song, dude. I just tipped because, you know, uh, people should tip. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, because if I have to sing for it, it's not really a tip, right? <laughs> it's just like I have another shitty paying job on top of my already shitty paying job. Because, I mean, most of my tips are less than a buck. So after the split, I'm making like not even 25 cents a song. That is less than a fucking jukebox. Only a jukebox doesn't also have to make coffee for these assholes. <laughs> or, not that you're an asshole. Well, maybe you are. What'd you tip? Five bucks? You meant this just for me, right? Like I don't have to split this with anyone. Oh no, that's for you. I don't give a shit about them. I'm getting mixed vibes from her. <laughs> Am I meant to like her? It's very sweet. God, I'm just so sick of Nora and Zoe, who is technically my man. Though I guess her co-workers are kind of like... Than me? Oh. She hired all of her little theater friends and they will not shut the fuck up <laughs> about some shitty... Damn, that was a really nice life. voice though. Oh, that was the one at the rec center, right? I think I had to see that. Ugh. I did not like it. Yeah. It sucked, right? Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't call it God's spell, more like God awful. Yeah, or like, God damn, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like musicals. Uh, watching people sing and dance makes me very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Like, I was expecting that he thought they were boring or something, but like, discomfort. Strange. Why did you come to the singing coffee shop? You know, there's a Starbucks. Because of you. Oh, uh. Well, you know, uh, some things are worth it. Like, uh, damn good coffee. <laughs> I see you in here all the time, don't I? What's your name? Paul. Hi, Paul. I'm Emma. Excuse me! <laughs> I have been waiting. It's like the most awkward meet cute of all time. Uh, okay, uh, bye, Emma. <laughs> Emma. Oh shoot, I forgot Bill's caramel frap. Ah, fuck Bill. <laughs> Hi, can I talk to you about saving the planet? No, do you, um, do you have a few minutes to talk about saving the planet? Uh, hello. Hey. <laughs> Hi. 
Are you interested in saving the planet? <laughs> that is, unironically, that's me. I've done that before. <laughs> I didn't mean to be rude. I just want to tell you about how you can contribute to Greenpeace's efforts all around the globe. Oh, Greenpeace? Yeah. You know what? I I'm actually already signed up with you guys. I already give. Oh, well, that's really generous of you. Do you know about our new campaign to save the sea turtles? Yeah. Yeah, I've been getting the emails, been reading all about it. Really? Uh, yeah. the campaign that doesn't exist, the one that I just made up? <laughs> you don't give to Greenpeace, do you? You know that money you're raising? You know how much of it actually goes to the turtles? Well, none of it. I just made that up. That's right, none. It goes to line the pockets of some corporate bigwigs. I give my money directly to the people who need it. Oh, spare change for the homeless? Sorry, I don't have anything. <laughs> wow, you're a real humanitarian. And this is like the most accurate commentary. As if I'm going to do that single-handedly. Well, you know what? What is... Happening. There's some kind of terrible storm out there. I hope Sam's all right. Fuck Sam. <laughs> oh man, are they? Are they a thing? Come back to bed, all right? All right, Ted. But you know what? Has to be the kind of vibe. It. <laughs> Charlotte, just like last time was the last time. If you don't like what we're doing here, there's the door. Oh God. Okay, then it was really aggressive. <laughs> Zoe, you need a ride? In your shitty car? Yeah, I'd rather not crash and die. It's fine, thank Great. you. Oh my god, I hate you. Ma'am, but I got a warrant to inspect the junk in your trunk. Oh, Sam, you're such an asshole, okay? That uniform is so fucking sexy. Hey, uh, I have a little present for you. These two tickets to Mamma Mia. No way, you got them? I never miss a musical of the starlight, and if anyone thinks that makes me less of a man, they can talk to my fucking gun! <laughs> Holy hell, what am hell. I watching? Are you sure you don't want me to pick you up? Okay, yes, I got a ticket for Deb, and after the show, we're gonna go to your favorite restaurant, Red Lobster! Yeah, I know Deb's a vegetarian, they got fish. Oh god, the amount, the amount of times I've heard that, dude. I've been vegetarian for like coming up on five years now, I think, and I've literally had people be like, Oh, you're a vegetarian, but you eat chicken, right? I was like, do you, do you, do you think chicken aren't animals? Chicken? Uh, it's crab fest! Alice, you're killing me! Look, she doesn't have to if she doesn't want to, okay? Oh, come on, Deb, that's not how it works. You're either in the smoke club or you're out. <laughs> okay, well then maybe we're out. The come smoke on, club. Was coming What's coming? Is it like an alien invasion or something? You bastard! You don't think I'm ready for you? I've been waiting in the wings! The stage is set! It's showtime! I, I feel like I'm meant to know something. This is the morning Hatchetfield News with Dan. <laughs> and I thought that was the start of a beat for a song. I was like, yeah, damn, that's a jam. Oh no. They said he wouldn't make it, that he had fallen from too great a height. But this little guy beat the odds and captured our hearts. Now weighing in at almost 10 ounces, peanuts. The Hatchetfield pocket squirrel has outgrown his adopted father's pocket. Peanuts! <laughs> Luckily, proud Papa Ed has been squirreling away on his GoFundMe page to build Peanuts his very own, get this Dan, squirrel house. <laughs> That's amazing. And something else has fallen to the ground here in Hatchet Field, this time oh, he, from outer he's, space. Oh, oh my god, from outer space. <laughs> this time from... That's amazing. And something else has fallen to the ground here in squirrel house. <laughs> That's amazing. And something else has fallen to the ground here in Hatchet Field, this time from outer space. The meteor. So it is an alien thing. Wait, who the hell would turn the TV off as soon as it said something fell from outer space? Oh my god. Sorry, 
Right, is it gonna make everyone dance and sing? Seems like a lot. Hey, did you say- Oh, you again. Look, I'm not a bad guy, okay? I've given to charity for the past- Hey, yeah, have a typical day! Totally. Everyone's singing and dancing now. In a beautiful way. No rhyme or reason. We can sing a duet. A dance a style or two. Or I'll make you a bet. Just a smile will do. Sometimes I just want to shout on top of bruise and mountaintops so all the world is paved in gold. She has a gorgeous voice. retroactive, got myself a new perspective. I'm strutting up and down the road. So I throw my worries. Why is he not affected though? Is it, I guess, maybe because he doesn't like musicals? <laughs> Hey man, that's all right. Cause I may not have a home. That's way okay. Cause I'm from Rome. The streets all day. The world is my house. What the hell, man? The dogs are my food. Oh, look at you, black. The the dogs are my food. I used to want to kill them all while high on mass on zombie trucks, stacking on a dead man's face. What? But that just feels like yesterday's song takes off. This is uh, a, a strange representation of homeless people. Used to hurt a lot, but now we got new feet, and this jam just way too hard. I'm so ready for the co-workers to sing later, though. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thank you. God bless you, man. All right. Um, uh, what's happening? I'm very confused and concerned by <laughs> all of this. I... Do you want to save the planet? Don't you want to save the planet? Do you want to save the planet? There's just one way you can do it. Like singing a song. Singing a song. Singing a song. They, they are vaguely threatening and terrifying. <laughs> Glee Club. The clap breakdown. <laughs> I hate that it's kind of a bop though. <laughs> Oh my god, they're even <laughs> speaking like musical theatre. Okay. <laughs> okay. That would be like the most surreal experience of your life. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now, I get that Alice is 18. She's a senior, she's got her own life, but I only get my daughter for one week a month and she wants to spend that whole time with her girlfriend, Deb. So I say, bring Deb along, we'll all go see the show. <laughs> and would you believe it? We get there and the whole theater was exploded by a goddamn meteor! <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> Huge hole right through the marquee and everything. I Oh, maybe that's why it's had this like singing and dancing effect because it hit the theater for some reason. <laughs> Charlotte, Sh 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 Charlotte, you, you you got enough coffee and the sugar? Huh? Oh, it's pretty it's pretty much I how I drink realize. coffee. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Sorry, I'll make another pot. Coffee and the sugar, <laughs> Bill, you're a riot. <laughs> <laughs> coffee and the okay. sugar. <laughs> okay. 
Hey guys, uh, is today some kind of, uh, I don't know, Canadian holiday or something? Like, uh, <laughs> International Music Day or? Not that I know of. Okay. Cause I just, um, <laughs> I just saw some people uh, uh, dancing and, and singing like they were in a, a musical. Uh, there was this homeless guy and this very rude woman from Greenpeace oh. doing this whole <laughs> choreography. He's still hung up on the Greenpeace thing. Yeah. I mean, what else could it have been, right? Well, did you get a video of it? No. <laughs> You're fucking useless, Paul. <laughs> yeah. Why do I love him so much? I just have a bad feeling about all this. Uh, Charlotte? Huh? Have you noticed anything strange? What? No. Oh, it's silly. Um, it's just, um, it's Sam. What? My husband. Um, he said he was coming home late last night. <laughs> he didn't get home at all. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's what I she's heard. worried about, bro. <laughs> um, well, he must have rolled in around him six this morning. He was in the shower when I woke up. I could hear him. He was singing. And well, I know this is a strange thing. So none of these guys are affected? Sam's not a, a, a bad singer. He's just always been a little flat <laughs> but not this morning <laughs> today he, he sounded like an angel does she think he's like <laughs> singing a singing teacher <laughs> it just it didn't sound like my sam oh okay oh, cuz he sounded sounds not like him he sounded alien <laughs> Sh charlotte do you remember what sam was singing um it, it was just a, a silly little song um, and something like a um, La, di, da, da, day. Paul, Mr. David. So it's not even like contextual. Like they're all always singing the same songs. Hey, Mr. Davidson. I think I know why you called me in here today. My weekly reports were not turned in yesterday. Not because they're not done. They are done. There's a problem with the printer network. You see. You try to print something over here, it gets sent over there. I bet my report is sitting in someone else's printer tray right now. You give me to the end of the day, I can find it. Not do it, uh, I, I wouldn't just not do my statistical analysis. <laughs> that would really gum things up here in the office and- What's he distracted by? Is he just gonna start, yeah, there you go. He's gonna start singing. <laughs> what do you want, Paul? Excuse me? Tell me what you desire to see, your deepest intent, Paul. <laughs> what do you see for this company? I'm looking for someone with strong ambition. Someone to sell their specific... So why is he affected, but the others aren't? Size, precision, their thoughts. Cause I want you to want. <laughs> to want. So what do you want, Paul? <laughs> What's that one concrete goal that motivates- I'm just gonna walk everywhere like that from now on. Well then how's anyone supposed to sympathize with you, Paul? I don't know, I want money, a part want you to want, Paul. A man so vague just can't be trusted. Something you pine for. Mr. Davidson? Maybe someone who keeps you lusted. I'm just a boss. <laughs> An idea guy. I you Why does the curves keep going all the way down? He wants a snake. I want you to want. To want. This guy's. This guy's face is wildly scary. I've waited for so long to tell somebody else. Carol, my wife. Of life. He hits them high notes effortlessly, though. My love, I want you to choke me out at night. Uh -huh. I want you to choke me. This seems like a private moment. <laughs> like, who is this for? I want you to choke me it's performative. I jerk off. I want you to choke me. I jerk off. I'm literally Paul right now. Melissa. Get my wife on the phone for me. Mr. Davidson, I think I should leave. No, Paul, I want you to hear this. If you leave, you're fine. <laughs> Carol. Yes, everything's fine, I promise. I just, uh, 
wanted to tell you something. Oh, I, uh, I don't like this. Mm. <laughs> I, uh... I forgot what it was. <laughs> Bro, he just sounded like Jim Carrey. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> it consumes a man with a passion to drive the primary plot. So take up yoga or volunteer at shelters. This is uncomfortable. There's got to be something that'll keep my hands off you. Off you. Because I want you to want. Mr. Davidson, I'm going to get some coffee. You want anything? No, I need you to want. Have a nice, careful prep. Nothing bad. Oh, if you don't want. We're through. Paul? Paul? Paul! So is everyone going to be singing about Paul now? Okay, okay. If not, then what was up with everyone singing the same song before? Okay. All right. This isn't happening. Get a grip, Paul. You're hallucinating. Better yet, you're still dreaming. You need to wake up. You need some coffee. That's it. Just a nice cup of black coffee. Nothing in it, no cream, no sugar, just black coffee. Is the barista gonna sing? Oh, cause she hated singing and now she's gonna sing. It's gonna be Hello? like <laughs> a whole thing. Hello! Please God, I just want a black coffee! Oh. <laughs> no! Not you too, Emma! Please God, stop singing! Okay, okay, I'll stop. Oh, I didn't forget. You're the guy who doesn't like musicals, Paul, right? Oh, she was just trying to be cute. You're talking to me. Like a normal person. Uh, yeah, and if my boss catches me, I'll get canned. Uh, new company policy. Not only do we have to sing when people tip, but when they enter, when they order, all the time, apparently. Okay, she, that's, Emma, that's awful. I would hate that so much. terribly wrong with the world today. Yeah, fucking tell me about it. <laughs> Spent the entire morning learning some dumbass new tip song. I'm exhausted. Do you... Emma? 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 I feel like there's something sinister infecting Hatchetfield. And I know this is gonna sound crazy and not very scary, but it is scary <laughs> if you think about the implications. <laughs> promise me you'll think about the implications. Okay, okay, I promise. Okay. I'd be like turning the other way from this guy. It's becoming like, a musical. Um, Don't say I, anything. Uh, let it sink in. Okay. Okay. Now. Are you frightened? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I, yeah. <laughs> I should be. You should be just sit down and wait. Emma! Tim! Oh, thank God. Sorry, Paul. I gotta do this no. dumbass tip song. Oh, sorry. Get your cup of roasted coffee. Your morning cup of joey. Oh, oh, your jam and cup of java mocha latte with the froth for you, Jack. Every time someone tips with a drip, 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 and we'll bring it right up. Hey, Mr. Business, how do you do? This would be awful to have to do. Imagine, just for a second, think about how many tips they'd get and how many times a day they'd have to do this. The customer's gonna start singing. Harmonized slide was nice, damn. Wait. Hey! What is this? There's more? Nora. Hey! hey. <laughs> That's how I dance in the club. Stop, stop, stop. What is that? A whole other A section? God, what did you learn that? You know what? When I got this job, 
I signed up to serve coffee and cold, shitty pastries. If I wanted to be in a musical, I'd be in a damn musical. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Zoe. I was in Bregadoon in high school and I fucking- The way they're it. staring at her is unsettling. Now, I'm just trying to make ends meet while I work my way through community college and I can do that just as easily <laughs> down the street at Starbucks. I quit. You, you can't, can't quit, quit Emma. Emma. Yeah, I sure as hell can. I hate the that. song is so simple. We'll <laughs> teach it to you. Why everyone here will be singing it soon. <laughs> what are you talking? Bro, did they just? Oh, they infect. I was like, did they poison them? Their apotheosis will be upon them at any moment. <laughs> Wait, what did you do to their coffee? <laughs> Fucking gross. That is very, very gross. Get your cup of poison coffee. What is this? What is this? The toxic cup of Joey. What? We'll make a twisted cup of java mocha latte with the goo for you, Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. Hey, Mr. Business. How are you? How are you? How are you do? They're singing. Why are they all singing? We need to run, Emma. Don't look back. Just run. Oh, we'll make a double for you. Hey, Mr. Business. <laughs> and we'll bring it right up. I mean, the songs kind of slap at least, man. Oh, there are worse things to live through. No, trust me, I, I used to live around here. It's a, a, an alleyway near where I used to live. It's, it's nobody would follow us here. Who, whose decision was it to line an alleyway with tons of shrubs? No. <laughs> I heard it was like, at one point they were gonna make it into a park. And, what? Yeah, they, they were gonna make it into Listen, a park and they just stopped. Paul, there are a lot of dead ends around here. I just want to make sure you, you know where you're going. No, or yeah, so... Are you... There's a dead end here, oh. so... Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, just go the other way again. All right, fine, fine, fine. Yeah. So, uh, I know this is probably a bad time, but, uh... Oh, uh, what do you like? Do you like film? But yeah, you know what, that is, it like... is a bad time. <laughs> wait! Paul. Oh, wait, an alley. How did I miss that? The, 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 okay. Go! Oh, my God! Oh my god, what the fuck was that? I told you it was scarier than it sounds. You were right. I didn't think about the implications. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't think about it! Emma, 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 shh. It's alright, okay? No! Ah! It's not alright, Paul! <laughs> Bill! You scared the shit out of us. Well, how the hell am I supposed to pop out of a trash can and not scare the shit out of you? What has he witnessed? <laughs> I don't know. Give us a warning or something next time, you know? Ah! Charlotte! Sorry, I tried to warn you. Oh my god! <laughs> Who are these people? They're my friends from work. What are they doing in the trash? Well, we had to find a place to hide. Mr. Davidson's kept calling. Dude, I just love office, all the dynamic. Yeah, it was the same at the bank, the butchers, and the post office. It's all downtown. We were just at Beanie's. Ah! You didn't invite me! <laughs> Jesus, Ted! <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Paul! All right? If you want to stay in our hiding spot, you gotta... why do I like Ted right, so much? I feel on. bad because he's is, not a good guy. So, Paul, get in a trash can. <laughs> you beat it. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> no, Emma stays with us. I don't know her. Yeah, you do. She's the. She's the barista from Beanie's. The, you know. The, the, the latte hotte. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, that is not the latte hotte. That's the crabby one who won't sing when I tip her. You grabbed the wrong one, you noodle. Fuck! Oh, oh thank God. They're here. I, I called Sam. He'll get us out of this. Sam, sweetheart. Sam, baby. She's gonna get converted. Crazy. Everyone's gone crazy. <laughs> I need you to take a step back. Huh? You're facing the law, not the clerk at the get app. Yeah, we're cops. Oh. Yeah, we're cops. You better shape on the Get away from Charlotte, he's one of them. I can't deal, you man. You better empty out all of them pockets. But don't empty out all of them pockets. Yeah, we're cops. Yeah, we're cops. And we make sense. <laughs> Show me your hands. Show me those jazz hands. Get them up, or you'll end up in cops. Show me those hands. Show me those chairs. Why do they keep giving this actor the weirdest songs? <laughs> okay, look, in my ID's in my back pocket. Give a 40 in a 35. Take your mirror, you'll 
find hell has arrived. Cause we're cops! Yeah, we're cops! We're up in your shit! <laughs> Kathy lost her cat in a tree. Come take fire! Not the H of PDE. Cause we're cops! Yeah, we're cops! Her cat is dead! Show me Pretty accurate representation. <laughs> Get a love or you'll end up in cuffs. Show me those hands, show me those jazz hands. I might be glad. Step away from the vehicle. Step away from the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle. <laughs> this is bridge. Slowly get out of the vehicle. Slowly get out of the vehicle. The dance spur. I love it. It's going for it, bro. I say, I'm a cop. Nine one one emergency call. Got a four one one and a shopping mall. Why would he sound like Bo Burnham? Sergeant White on the nine one one. What the bitch wants, Sergeant? She wants to grab your nine millimeter and sell enough fucking for my badge. Now I'm putting your mouth in. Shut it, Sam. Sweetheart, I'm your wife. Sam, baby, just talk to me. Charlotte. Legit thought that he was just gonna shoot up for a second. Oh, oh my god, just do just get back! Just stay away, just leave us alone! She's gonna stop popping caps. <laughs> Very strange. Oh His head is open. Well, I had to do something. Oh, 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 oh my God! His brain fell out. <laughs> well, put it back then. Oh, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Charlotte, look at that. That's not his brain. It's blue. Well, how do you know? You're not a doctor either. <laughs> we need to see a doctor. He needs to get to the doctor, Sam. Baby. No, listen, listen, Charlotte. Charlotte, right? I'm Charlie. Yes, okay, listen. We have to get out of downtown, okay? Downtown is fucked. The <laughs> whole downtown. We can't go there. Somebody needs to see a doctor. He needs <laughs> I need to hear her say that again like that. It's fucked. <laughs> no, okay, listen. We have to get out of downtown, okay? Downtown is fucked. The whole <laughs> is downtown. We can't go there. Somebody needs to see a doctor. He needs to see a doctor. Sam, we gotta get Um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know where we can go. I have this, like, kooky, reclusive biology professor. Professor Higgins! Yes, I'm his favorite student because I brought him groceries once. Anyway, um, <laughs> he has a doctorate. That's kind of like a doctor, right? <laughs> Probably. I love um, Ted. And he's got, like, a lab in his house and his security. His whole house is like a panic room. He's like a, um, what do you call a guy that lives in a fortress? A king. No. <laughs> No, he's like a, um, a doomsday survivalist. Yes, he thinks the world is ending. He's been preparing for the last 20 years for the apocalypse. The apocalypse? Is that what this is? Maybe we should go to a church. No, 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 Charlotte. We are all from different denominations, all right? <laughs> we cannot split up. I am a Presbyterian. I'm not going to die in your dirty-ass Methodist church, all right? <laughs> I say we go to the panic room and we beg for the king's help. Charlotte, I love that he's still calling him a king. Us, including Sam, would be to get to the professor. Yeah, well, let's go now. We can take the squad car. Uh, how, how are they going to move his... Oh, there you go. She's going to grab him. <laughs> There's that beat again. Oh, shit. <laughs> With Dan and Donna. What began as a series of isolated incidents has escalated into what some are calling a musical riot. Good God! It's spreading faster than I theorize. Despite several reports of violence, the Hatchetfield police have assured Channel 9 that there is no cause for alarm. Because they're part of it, Donna! <laughs> Nevertheless, our skittish neighbors in Clivesdale have raised the Nantucket Bridge. With the ferries down for the season and no accessible means off the island, Hatchetfield citizens are advised to stay indoors. Like fish in a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the outside world is no help. It's up to us now, Alexa. <laughs> Who is it? Professor Higgins! 
Hitchens. Don't lie to me, whoever you are. I'm Professor Hitchens. <laughs> No, Professor, it's me, Emma Perkins. The whole town has gone crazy. I didn't know where else to go. Emma, you've come to the right place. Hold on, I'll let you in. Alexa, open the gates. He is not gonna like that they've brought in an infected body. Thank you, Professor, thank you. Oh, these are my friends. This is Paul and them. Uh, we came from downtown. Now listen, this is going to sound crazy, but everyone- Singing and dancing like a musical. They want you to join them, and once they get you, you're a part of it! Uh, yeah, how did you know? I theorized this exact scenario 30 years ago. How, bro? Really? <laughs> really? Like exactly this? Exactly! <laughs> that the world would become a musical? You'd better believe it. Wait, so, so that's what's wrong with Sam? He's... Good God, don't tell me you brought one of them here! Oh! He's a monster! All right, everybody, oh. calm down. <laughs> Providence has brought him to me. Quickly, cuff him to the chair. Make sure he's secure. He's There's no telling me. what would happen if he were awake and loose. I'd be Maybe he is awake and just faking. Now all of the answers are right in front of me. If only I have the wits to decipher them. All right. Oh. 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 Now, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but just ripping out pieces of brain seems like a bad idea. God, um, I don't know, some kind of blue shit? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Emma! What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I love him too, dude. What on earth it looks like? Nothing. You all remember that meteor that crashed into the Starlight Theater last night? I dare say it carried a deadly car. Oh, he sounds like Adam West. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not him because Adam West voiced Adam West in Family Guy, but bro, he sounds like Adam West. A contagious pathogen of cosmic origin. Wait a second, Doc. Don't tell me you're talking about aliens. Why is that so hard to believe? Think of all that we take for granted now that was once foretold in the pages of Bradbury and Asimov. Look no further than my robot assistant, Alexa. <laughs> Once confined to the realm of science fiction, she is now science fact. Fascinatingly, this is kind of true. Like the stuff that we have every day is insane, even in comparison to like 30 years ago, man. So much stuff that you and I do every day at some point was just this absolutely bonkers, unattainable dream. Extraordinary. <laughs> 20 years ago, I would have had to walk all the way to the dimmer. <laughs> now, as unbelievable This is me, but unironically. Seem, the question is no longer can this be happening, but how do we stop it? I've got to get this blue shit beneath a microscope to find out what makes these bastards tick. Uh, sorry, Professor. This is a lot to take in. <laughs> uh, do you have anything to take the edge off? Like, drink or something? <laughs> Young man, for the past 27 years, I have been stockpiling the bare essentials needed for human survival in the event of a world-ending cataclysm. You bet your ass we got them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, baby. Oh. Come on, Charlotte. I'll make you a drink. We can relax, talk, fuck. <laughs> I hate him. I can't believe you're thinking about that at a time like this. The whole world could be coming to an end. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go out doing the thing I love. You. Screwing around with another uh. man's wife. <laughs> Ted, you're such a horny bastard. <laughs> uh. <laughs> always have been, always will be. And you know that's why I can't resist you. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. What was that about uncomfortable? My husband's brains fell out today. If I can't be a wife to him now, what kind of woman am I? I don't know, Charlotte. I'm not your therapist. 
You know, maybe you should go back to fucking him, hmm? I know that's why you actually went to counseling. I mean, that's not the only reason. I wanted to make things work with Sam. I love him. I know I shouldn't, but I do. No, Charlotte, this guy is a scumbag, all right? You could upgrade to a sleazeball. <laughs> I was gonna say, if someone's a scumbag in his eyes, how bad are they? Just be happy. You know what, Charlotte? I'm done, all right? So you could stay here with your dying marriage and your dying husband. Oh my god. I'm gonna go hit on that crabby barista. Wait, no! Ted! Wait! Oh, God! Oh, God! God! Something's gonna happen while it's they're there. alone, right? Look, you just gotta know it. I didn't want any of this to happen. I, I love Sam, and I, I know we've had our problems, and I know I've been so angry with him lately, but, but I didn't want him to die. Please, God, just, just let him wake up. Just let him wake up. Charlotte. Oh, oh, oh. Sam? Where am I? Why am I tied to a chair? Um, it's for your own safety, Sam. And I understand it's not the ideal scenario, but one day I want to be able to wake up and say the words, where am I and why am I tied to a chair? Baby, I'm hurt real bad. Um, I need a doctor. Um, uh, uh, I'll go get the professor. No! <laughs> they left me here to die. <laughs> Only you can help me, Charlotte. Untie me and we'll leave here together. I'm tired of Charlotte. I'm actually like not sure if she's gonna fall for it and, and let him out. You understand me. Now hand me those keys. No. The keys to our youth. <laughs> God, we were young once. Innocent and fun once. And free. <laughs> So much in this is making me uncomfortable. The gyration is too much. Now break me open with your love and mercy. The Charlotte, you're breaking my heart, child. Feet to the fire. Just let me. I love her sweater. I want it. I love you too, Sam. But I. I Charlotte, baby, apple of my eye, don't you twist me? Ah, uh, baby voice. I effed up, Charlotte, effed up with you. All the booze and harness, and all... I just, I just realized he's singing this with, like, his brain exposed. Count. They couldn't break me. You're the one who caged me in chains. Please take away my pain, Charlotte. Let me hold you again, Shy. Just free of my arms, and I'll give you a foot massage, Charlotte. Will you? How do they actually like infect? Well, like seduce them with song. <laughs> no, 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 I gotta go get the other Sam to this bed. Oh, fuck, I'm fading fast. I think you better come quick. I really don't wanna die. Manipulation. Time to say our goodbyes at the end of the road. Goodbye. Uh, no, no, Sam, you'll be alright. Just hold on. This body is not gonna last. The air is cold and thick. I'm losing my last remaining. My hands are tight. The rhythm is awesome here. The melody's coming through so good. I want to die in your arms in the evening alone. What? He's lying. Don't do it. What have I done? Rip her.
<laughs> so, yeah, like, how is he gonna infect her? Now I'm gonna free up your heart, baby. Yes, Righto. He said this was a full bar. How the hell am I supposed to make a Shirley Temple without any cherries? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bill. It's the end of the world and you're gonna get your drink on with a Shirley fucking Temple? Well, if it's as serious as all that, I figured we might need a designated driver. <laughs> okay, so... When the cops pull you over, you can pass their breathalyzer test before they infect you with their nasty blue shit? Come on! Bro, you'll crash, though, if you're drunk. You won't crack at me. I am gonna... do something to you! <laughs> oh, yeah, Bill? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna... kick your head! <laughs> oh. I love him, too. My head? Yeah! Not my ass. Yeah! All right, then, let's see it! Huh? <laughs> kick my head! <laughs> Come on, karate champ! I want to see you kick above your waist, all right? Show me that roundhouse! Show me that sweeping crane kick that your kung fu master taught you! Okay, you two, calm down. Plot twist, you can actually do it. <laughs> kick your head. Why not? It's the most vulnerable part of the body. That's what Sensei Bill taught me. Okay, it was a dumb threat. Stop rubbing it in. I'm sure mm. you can do it over again. He'd say... Ass. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, you know, if you want to kill a snake, what do you do, huh? You cut off its head. Where is the fish rot from? The head. Take out the head, and the whole thing goes down. That's why a fisherman always goes for. God, he's an asshole. Ow, come on, Bill, come on. <laughs> Give me that. This is supposed to relax us, not make us kill each other. Whatever. Uh, why did I come back here? To, uh, drink? Back to Hatchetfield. I spent the first 18 years of my life trying to get out of this place. Should have just stayed in Guatemala. I mean, yeah, they've got volcanoes and cutamundis everywhere, but at What's least... What's a cutamundi? Oh, it's like a little raccoon thing. Now yeah, they get into shit, people hate them, but at least they don't sing and dance. So is that what drove you back to Hatchetfield? Cutamundis <laughs> up in your shit? No, no. It was uh, my sister, Jane. She was the good one. Yeah, she had this um, Lisa Frank binder when she. I like this like little heartfelt scene in amongst everything. And I swear to God, she stuck to it, bullet point by bullet point. It was like, job, husband, house, kid. And you know, when one sister's so on top of her game, it kind of demands that the other one be a total fuck up, right? <laughs> what is Yin without Yang? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man, she was off doing life, and I was doing something else. <laughs> Backpacking, mostly. And she would call me and, you know... Say it like it's a mistake. Backpacking would be dope. Things, baby showers. And I'd always say, oh, sorry, I'll catch the next one. But, um... Then when I got the invitation to her funeral, I was like... Well, that's depressing, oh. isn't it? Jeez. There won't be a next one. No. Oh. I'm sorry. Hey, you didn't crash into her car. Anyway, uh, it's weird growing up in someone else's shadow because then when they're gone, the light shines on your life for the first time and it does not look good. Oh, damn, that's a cool line. Wow. 30 with no roots anywhere except Hatchet Field. So I thought, well, um, I'm going to make something of myself, you know? Do something my sister would be proud of. Enroll in community college, study botany. I'm going to start a pop farm. Botany of all things. <laughs> oh. Did your sister smoke a lot of pot? No. But weed's the future. It's going to be legal nationwide soon. Bet you any money. <laughs> Not that it matters anymore. Man. My whole life, my one goal was to avoid dying in Hatchetfield. And <laughs> here we are. That's a great goal. Hey. 
could be worse. You could be dying in Clivesdale. <laughs> Fuck Clivesdale. Fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Clivesdale. All things considered, I like Hatchetfield. Mm. Yeah, I've been here my whole life. Born and bred. Never wanted to leave. Of course he didn't. <laughs> Still don't. Yeah, we're the same age. How come I never knew you in high school? You probably went to Hatchetfield High. I went to Sycamore. Fucking Timberwolves! We hated you guys. We hated ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, back at Beanie's, you said you were in your high school production of Brigadoon? I, I was Bonnie Jean. Yeah, that was 2003, right? Mm -hmm. I actually saw you in Brigadoon. No shit. Yes, shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't have a theater program in our school, so I guess to make us feel like crap, they bust us over to watch your show. It was the first musical I ever saw. <laughs> and it turned you off musicals for life. <laughs> That's probably the start of my whole thing. <laughs> You're the reason I don't like musicals. <laughs> Flattering. Whoa, that's like your origin story. Yeah. So I guess I'm the supervillain. I don't think of you like that at all, Emma. <sighs> Listen, um, Paul. Oh my God. Sure. So good. It is time. Oh yeah. To die. Of course they'd be able to just walk into the next room. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Her guts are blue now. Now we go through you. We tried to convince you in soliloquy. But now we'll kill you with more than harmony. Just die. Join us and die. Charlotte, join us and die. Pretty cool build, though. And die. All you gotta do is join us and die. It's not. With him. It's not the most enticing offer, is it? <laughs> All you gotta do is jo join us and die. Not or die, and die. <laughs> Him doing the bagging vocals is amazing. Are they actually gonna die? Fair enough. He's a little bit of a badass, isn't he? You killed Charlotte. Wrong. You shot her. I shot a charlatan. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> the Charlotte you knew and loved was gone the minute a note came out of her mouth. After examining that blue shit, it didn't take long for me to decipher that Sam was no longer human, but part of the alien brew genetically reconstructed from the inside out. They're wearing our skin to fool us. Which means any one of you could be one of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. So Suddenly it turns into the thing. Who's still human and who's a musical <clears throat> double guy? Uh, what? I want you all to sing 16 bars right now. No, Professor. Professor, we're not aliens. Sing the beginning of Moana. What? what? <laughs> I said sing, goddammit. Uh, uh, Moana. Moana. Make way, Moana. make way. Consider it's tree. All right, that was terrible. <laughs> Not a single one of you were on pitch, which means you're still human. These things, their, their tactic is to hide amongst us, and as their numbers grow, they become more bold and, as we've seen, violent.
Alice? With his daughter? Alice. Oh, thank God. I've never been more happy in my life. Your mother left me and moved you to Clivesdale. <laughs> what? No, no. Alice, I saw you get on the bus to Clivesdale this morning. What? Got off? Got off? To go see Deb? God damn it, Alice. If Deb jumped off a bridge, would you? Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're scared. What, what, what's wrong with Deb? She's doing what? Alice? Okay, listen to me. You get away from her. You understand? You get far away. No, this has nothing to do with me not liking Deb. Right now, you need to run and hide. Okay? Where are you? No, no, you stay there. I'm coming to you. No, no, don't, don't you say. Everything's going to be fine. I love you too. That was some solid acting. I was like really invested for a hot second there. Give me, give me some bread and some water. I knew we were gonna need a designated driver. <laughs> What's happening, Bill? It's Alice, she's stuck in Hatchetfield. Dang it, I need to take the car. She's in Hatchetfield High. She's locked herself in the choir room. And you're gonna save her? G.I. Bill? Oh, you'll just kick him in the head, it's Run fine. Gun your way through a city of singing zombie motherfuckers. Wake up, oh. Bill. She's already dead. Don't you dare, You're Ted. gonna get there, and she's gonna be dead, and you're gonna die too. And that's exactly what's gonna happen if you try to go back through downtown. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Don't go through downtown. Cut through Pinebrook. What? Pinebrook. Rich neighborhood, fancy houses, huge yards. Yes. Avoid densely populated areas. So take Evergreen, cut through the park, hop a curb, and you're in the teacher's parking lot. Right, yes, and the window to the staff lounge is always open so they can smoke. Just slide in and out. It used to be my old escape route. <laughs> okay, this is a lot of direction. Don't bother, he's gonna get lost. You are such a fucking creep, you know that? Yeah, he's kind of just becoming more of an asshole. Creep? Yeah. I'm a fucking creep. Listen, sweetheart, the world has changed, all right? There are no creeps, there are no heroes, there are only people who are alive and people who are fucking dead! And feels like he's not dealing very well with the whole situation. She's dead. What? Well, I'm only saying what we all know is true, right, Paul? I know that the chances are slim to nil. And I know that Bill doesn't know the shortcut. Bill, oh my God, is he going to go with him? If you go, you're not going to make it. Which is why I'm going to go with you to get your daughter back. You, you do that for me, Paul? Hey, it's not like you're asking me to go see Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, let's go. If we haul ass, we can be there and back in 20 minutes. No, Emma, you stay here. I have a theory on how these aliens can be stopped, but I'll need an extra pair of hands in the lab. Paul, Bill, Godspeed. Um, hey, Paul. I'm surprised he gave away the gun. If those things get you, they're gonna make you sing and dance and all that shit you hate. So don't you let them. Emma, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to draw a line in the sand. <laughs> and I will never be in a fucking musical. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. I just want to take a quick second and say it's occurred to me how subtle a lot of the music has been. Obviously all the songs are used to like forward the story, but there's like a whole lot of music going on in the background as well as in transitions. And I just like haven't really noticed it, which means it's doing its job really well because all that stuff to set the tone, you shouldn't really be actively noticing that. It's just there to really fill out everything and give you a vibe. So color me impressed for a stage production to manage to do that so seamlessly. Bill, Speedy, Bill, where are you? Be quiet, Bill, okay? We gotta find her, Paul. We will, but you're gonna have to shut up, all right? This whole school could be crawling with those things. You screaming is gonna get us killed. And then who's gonna save Alice? Right, right. Sorry, Paul, it's just, she's all I have. I know. Just, just try to stay calm and follow me, okay? 
You know, she's a good kid, Paul. She's smart, and I respect her choices, but if we're being honest, I don't like Deb. <laughs> she's just... She's We've old. been near, Bill. No, I just think Alice can do better. Yeah, this, sure, Bill. This morning, the knucklehead that I am, I said, why don't you try dating someone at your own high school in Clivesdale? And she said, you just don't like Deb. And what was I supposed to do, lie? So I said, why don't you try dating someone like Grace Chastity? And she goes, no, Grace Chastity is a nerdy prude. Mm. And I said, this is not the time for this, my man. I like her too, that is not a very nice thing to say. And suddenly, I'm defending Grace Chastity of all people. And she says, you just want Grace Chastity to be your daughter. And I say, well, at least she's nice to me at church. <laughs> and I think that fight is why she got off the bus to go see Deb. Oh, God, Paul, I'm the reason they trapped her. It's my fault. No. No, listen to me, Bill, okay? This is not your fault. Yes, it is. Alice? It's all your fault. I almost said before that I thought she might have been turned, and this was a way for the aliens to, like, lure them out, and I think that my suspicion was correct. The last thought I had before they broke down the door. I'm not your girl anymore. I'm not that tween that you drove here for. I'm not your girl anymore. I think she's dead. <laughs> took her body with an infectious spore. You left me out of your sight for one second and look what happens. Nightmare time. It's worse than you could imagine. Not sex and not drugs. Just alien invading minds. No more. She still has an amazing voice, though. I forgot how good it was. Alice, what is going on? I'm not your ACT. Alice, I'm, I'm here to take you home. I, I... No matter what you believe. Oh my god, is he gonna have to like shoot her in the face? It's not my fault. Anymore. No more curfews to be late for. It's Dude, her, her deep voice is incredible. No more and waiting by the door. Did you know that I wanted to live with you? Oh, 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 oh. And when you needed to fight, you gave her that too. Man, Paul looks so sad because he knows what's going on. We need to leave right now. Back off, Paul. We're not leaving without Alice. That's not your daughter, Alice. Bill. Why does it hurt to love you? Why am I in pain? Why does it hurt to know you? You let me down again. If That's a really beautiful couple of lyrics. Sides out, would you even know that I I loved that little bit. That was so gorgeous. Cause I'm not your girl anymore. They could have like you know do it, Paul. Dip. I can't live in a world without my daughter. Bill, I whatever can't, you're thinking, stop it. I can't live knowing I'm the reason they got to her. No, Bill. Not, no. No! Let me do it, Paul! No! Just let me die! No, no man! No! 
You gonna you gonna drop that there gun? Look at me. You're my best friend. I'm not gonna let you die. Oh! Bill! Oh god, Bill! We, we just, just keep running into each other, don't we, Paul? We have traveled across seas of stars, bounding, bounding. <laughs> the hive mind broke. We all have to say the same thing. Let's, Let's get, get on the same page. page. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> bending countless civilizations to our will, yet you, Paul, have defied us thrice. Holy shit! This puny human weapon is too quick a death for you, Paul. We, we shall rend you limb They've from got rim. such a you big problem with Paul, bro. He just doesn't like musicals. Seriously, we all need to say the same thing. You guys are embarrassing me. Oh, come on. You shall choke on your agony as you beg for apotheosis. <laughs> get down on the ground, we're the army. Bam, bam, get out of here, bam. <laughs> bam, bam. 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 Here we go! Whoop! Clear on the right! Grenade! Woo! Yeah! Wait, 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 I, I'm not one of them! I'm human! I'm yeah, prove it, asshole, we're the army. <laughs> Remarkable! Simply! Remarkable! Tommy! Emma! How do you explain an entire race of beings spontaneously bursting into song and dance? How do they all know the lyrics? The the choreography. I... I don't know. They're all getting orders from the mothership. You're not far off. What we're dealing with here is a collective consciousness. On one level, they are individuals, but on another, they are all appendages of a much larger organism, all connected by a central brain. <laughs> and the brain came down in the meteor? Or it is the meteor. <laughs> I was literally gonna, I was literally gonna say, or it is the media. Okay, and so it wants to kill us all so it can resurrect us as part of its shitty musical? That's one way of putting it. <laughs> you could also say it's uniting us in one common purpose. Think, Emma, if this entity were to spread to the entire planet, why? It could achieve what over 50,000 years of human civilization never could. Is he like into the idea of being part of the hive mind? Okay, but how do we stop it? Yes, of course. Stop it. <laughs> okay, um, all right, all right. So this all started with the meteor. It is the brain. So if we take it out, will all these things just die? That's a sound theory, Emma. Oh my god, is he gonna inject her? Which is why it must never leave this room. What? No, 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 Don't no! Don't fight it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe just to knock her out. I thought, I thought maybe with the blue stuff. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sorry for that knock on the head, son. You can never be too careful. What's your name? Uh, Paul Matthews. Good evening, Paul. My name's General John McNamara of the United States Military Special Unit PEIP. We call it PEEP. <laughs> PEEP? I've never. That handshake is still going. Not a PEEP. <laughs> That's a joke, son. We have the uh, unenviable task of cleaning up messes of a certain nature. Situations not unlike what we have here in Hatchetfield. Are you saying stuff like this has happened before? I said nothing of the sort. That information's classified. <laughs> However, our agents led us to believe the entire population had become infected with this alien contagion. So quite frankly, we're all a little shocked to find a survivor <laughs> like yourself. <laughs> but I got some bad news for you, Paul. My unit was sent to make a clean sweep of what was once your down. No loose ends, no survivors. Whoa, so you're just gonna kill me? Those are my orders, yes. Two in the head, one in the heart. <laughs> but there's one thing you better hurry up and know about me, Paul. I love my country, I do. But the experiences I've accrued throughout my tenure with this organization have given me a deeper understanding of the cosmos and our place in it. 
I follow a higher law than any institution could decree, and that is the universal truth. Bro, he's talking like he's infective. Of the human heart. Would you like to do some light reading on the subject? <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. So I'm going to bend the rules a little bit for you, Paul. I have an evac chopper touching down in Oakley Park at 2300 hours. That's 11 o'clock in the PM. Synchronize your timepiece with mine. Oh. Okay. Is that an iPhone? Yeah, it's 6S. I've had... Oh! <laughs> Wear a watch! <laughs> Time is a precious thread in the fabric of the universe. It deserves its own tool of measurement. <laughs> Bro, sounds like a 70-year-old guy. There's a seat on that chopper with your name on it. Oh. Cool. Oh, oh, wait, wait, General McNamara. Uh, I can't leave without Emma. <sighs> Who's Emma, Paul? <laughs> a friend of mine. Friends don't move my heart, son. Is there a chance at something more? <laughs> I think so. Uh, I'd like there to be. I want there to be. Well, then you know what that means. What? I'm authorizing you to use my firearm. <laughs> Rescue Emma that's, that's and get one way to do it. Chopper in two hours' time. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me until we're both in Clivesdale sharing a cup of coffee. Do you like coffee, son? <laughs> yes, sir. Do you like musicals? No, sir. Now that's a goddamn red-blooded American. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on the chopper! This guy's probably my favorite actor out of them all, to be honest. <laughs> oh, he knocked out both of them. Hey. Hey! Uh, what? What? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I wake up, that's me. You're finally awake. Professor Higgins, what are you doing? Exactly what needs to be done. Alexa! Open the gates. Turn off the fences. Shut it all down. No, Professor, the, the fences are the only thing protecting us. Protecting us from what, Emma? From the end of the world? What's protecting us from nuclear holocaust, climate change, overpopulation, Emma? The world was already doomed. Not by them, but by us. I was trying to save something that could not be saved. Until now. It's getting, it's getting quite dark. <laughs> but before we can be reborn into a better world. First, we must say our goodbyes. No. No. Please. Alexa. After all these years in isolation with you as my one companion, I've, I've come to love you just as much as any woman of flesh and bone. Is Alexa just going to be like, sorry, I can't understand this. Which is why it pains me to have to do this. Alexa, initiate self-destruct. <laughs> I don't think it can do that, Professor. <sighs> it's 2018. <laughs> and it can't even blow itself up! Fucking piece of shit! No, God. God. Please, please, Professor! Just, just, Why is everyone smashing electronics? I can't do that, Ted. Don't you two see? In order for humanity to survive, it must evolve. Oh, Paul's gonna come in and shoot this professor, hey. Salvation. We must join them. This is our second chance. My second chance. Professor, think about what you're doing. Emma, did you know that long before I was a biologist, I had a much truer and deeper passion? Yes, my first love was Music always will be musical theater. <laughs> I knew it, bro. I knew it. Oh, God, no. <laughs> this guy's fucking nuts. <laughs> After examining that creature you once called Charlotte, I made a fascinating discovery. 
These aliens, they, they possess a highly specialized gland that allows them to communicate through rhythmic frequencies. They're drawn to music like a moth to the flame. No, He's gonna no, no, play no, them in. Do it. Don't you fucking do it! <laughs> this is humanity's 11th hour. <laughs> And I've prepared something for the occasion. Oh, God. No, no, no. It's a show-stopping number. A real show-stopper. I expected him to have, like, this awful voice for some reason. Like, like that was going to be the joke, but it's quite nice. Thing to shock him. To bring them a crawling, a big time box office draw. With the press and the glamour, we'll kill the review spotlight on Mr. Ingenue. So fill up your tumbler, got a show stopping number. <laughs> Please, Professor, if they hear us, they will- He's kind of a vibe, the way he sings, like. Oh, God. Stopping number <laughs> is something you die for. A real catchy, earwormy tune. An award-winning score that seeps in and out of your pores. A ditty to make the course. More discomfort for me. It'll unify humanity in a thundering chord. No exits from this Broadway venue. So crash those shiny symbols. Got a show <laughs> stopping him over you. This song's pretty good, huh? <laughs> I bet you didn't know I was also a composer. In fact, while I've been preparing for the apocalypse, I've also been writing my own musical. <laughs> <laughs> the movement of the leg, oh my god. Do you mind if I give you the pitch? We don't have time. Fucking go for it. <laughs> it's called Workin' Boys, a new musical. It's the story of a group of old college chums, sure. They found success in the business world, but still, they long for the simpler times in that beat-up old house at the edge of college campus. But those glory days, they're gone for good. Or are they? <laughs> <laughs> I love how enthralled he is by this, this plot. This is the title number. This is called I'm up to my ass and shit. What is this business? Markets are crashing and I'm at the edge of my wits. <laughs> I just can't take it when all I want to do is spend that day with Craig. Se seriously, man, this is like one of the most surreal things I've witnessed in so long. I don't even know what's happening. <laughs> and Layton. And Chad. And ring, ring. The phone rings. I answer it. <laughs> Parachutes. Remember those days on the football field, Greg? Oh. Last week feels like ages ago. <laughs> Man's having an existential crisis. <laughs> After work, on the football field, the old stomping ground, eh, Greg? Oh. Just you and me and Steve and Stu and Mark and Layton and Chad. Chad. <laughs> so invested, dude. Five o'clock. I'll see you then, Greg. I'll see you then. <laughs> All I want you to do is spend that day with Steve. And five o'clock can't 
come soon enough. Five o'clock can't come soon enough. Five o'clock can't come soon enough. I can't wait. It's got to be getting so hot. A show-stopping number. A real show-stopper. An aria to rule them all. They'll throw us their money at full price admission. <laughs> Will come crumbling down. <laughs> Hamilton oh over your new. He's kind of killing it though. <laughs> hey Henry. <laughs> Greg, is it really you? No, Professor, that's not Greg. Been a long time. <laughs> hey boys, you ready to toss around that pig skin? Still, you haven't aged a day. Can it be five o'clock already? It must be. Come on, Henry. We got some catching up. Working boys. I don't know why I didn't expect for them to join in, but definitely to me by surprise. Leaving him tied up, bro. That's it's messed. It's okay, guys. I'm here. Oh, shh, we gotta get out of here while they're distracted. Oh my god, should I take this chair? Yes, I'll get the piano. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why would they take the chair? And then I realized it's a, it's a meta joke to clear out the stage. <laughs> yes, oh. yes, make me one of you. Fake legs. Stop my coming. No. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a pleasant experience. Pick us up. We gotta get to Oakley Park and oh shit, it's 10:52. We're gonna have to huff it. Wait, Paul, I gotta say something. Not now, Ted. Yes, now. <laughs> today, uh, today has uh, has broken me. I'm ashamed of how I acted earlier. With Bro, just go. You can say it on the helicopter. Shit, I wanted to abandon Erica back there. Emma. Kazuntite. <laughs> and Paul. I wish I could be brave, like you. Shut the fuck up, dude, we gotta <laughs> you go. see, I deserve any kind of abuse you guys want to give me, all right? Because I, come on. <laughs> I have been a grade A asshole. But I swear, all right, come on. I swear, I am gonna be a better person because today has taught me something. And it's, it's what's really important in this life. And it's the people you care about, you know? And Paul, I have always considered you. Where? What's he? What's he getting at here? Oh, there you go. Hey, I said I'd be a better person. I'm still not a good person. I fuck that. Okay. All right. Well, he's gonna end up dead. Chopper. Just gotta get to that chopper. What? Oh yeah! The military! Oh yes! They're gonna shoot him? Over it was here. a lie? Yes! Just save me! I'm the only one that survived! Everyone else is dead! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I tell ya! Oh man! You guys are a sight for sore eyes! Uh, you know, I always support the- They're so gonna kill him. Number two, I bleed red, white, and blue. I don't know what you've been told, but- Americans should fit a mold. There's a war to be fought in this country against those that are far too bold. I don't know where this is going. Left and right, there's only room for right and wrong. It's you and me and me, you. The loudest become the strong. Yeah, we're great again. America's great again. Oh, they're all dancing and singing. I didn't even think about that. He was a good man. Sir, it's Paul. What? Run, Emma, run. You can't run. Run, run, run. Cause our borders are closed. Our are closed. You're staring down a gun. Oh my God. We have to get out of here. I 
are they gonna like somehow fly a helicopter? What are we supposed to do? Just go through that? I don't, I don't know. The final solution is a charted course in the winds of our own evolution. I actually like don't know how this is gonna end. Like, are they gonna get away or are they just gonna end up, you know, being assimilated too? So that we may rebuild and experience a new construction. He's just gone down. Oh! She managed to shoot. Okay, so the helicopter at least wasn't a lie. Damn, he has a nice voice. I love the helicopter acting. Yes, coming. They've all been infected. Get us out of here. Oh, yes. I thought I was going to fucking die <laughs> in Hatchet Field. But we're not, Paul. We got out of there. <laughs> and we're never going back. Fuck you, Hatchet <laughs> Seatbelts, it's a little bumpy. Hey, hey, ma'am, you really is she, is she's gonna be like infected or something? I don't know. Hey, hey, Mr. yeah, Mrs. there it is. How do you do, Zoe? Can we get a triple for you? No, <laughs> slow mo shot. Not good. <laughs> Emma! Emma! Oh. Emma! Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 God, my... Emma, you're late. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, I, I hate to say this right now, but this is what seatbelts are for. Shit! <laughs> Emma, Emma, we're still in Hatchet Field. We need to get to the shore. We need, we need to find a boat or no, something. No, no, no. Oh. 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 I can't make it. I'm not getting off the island. No, but Emma, those those things are gonna find us, okay? So you gotta, gotta fucking kill them before they do. The meteor. You gotta you gotta destroy the meteor, Paul. It's like your friend said, you know. Well, the hive mind. Which friend? Bill, Ted, Charlotte? <laughs> you know your friend's fucking names? <laughs> you take the head out, the whole thing. Oh, I goes love down. this so much. Okay. <gasps> okay. Okay. Uh, so I just need to get to the Starlight Theater, destroy the meteor, and all these things will just drop dead? Yeah, I sure as shit hope so. Okay, uh. you, you stay here and try to hang on. Hey, Paul. Um, I know why you came into beanies all those times instead of just going to Starbucks. <laughs> and it wasn't because you liked our shit coffee. Our coffee was shit. Because we didn't care. <laughs> and sometimes we would spit in it. <laughs> and you might have drank my spit, but, but I didn't know you back then. And I wish I did. But anyway. <laughs> oh, if we get through this, I would love to just see a nice, silent movie. With you. <laughs> but in case we don't, kiss me. Okay. <laughs> Gross. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, Emma. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of blood. Oh. <laughs> I think that I think that's all of it. Those so get back on in here. <laughs> No thanks. No, I I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Fuck it. Get out of here. Okay. Oh. Bye. Oh. 
I, I, I can't with this man, with this musical. It's so weird. Did you hear the word? What's the word? Who's a coming? Who's a coming? Paul's a coming. Paul's a coming. The star of the show. Let him come. Word? What's the word? He's a coming. Who's a coming? Paul's a coming. Paul's a coming. The star of the show. Let him come. So damn ominous, though. The old Starlight Theater. There it is. The meteor. Don't delay, just throw that bad boy. I'm waiting for you, Paul. Bill, stay back. Watch out, Paul. He might kick your head. <laughs> <laughs> and that would be a lotty da da da. Ted! Emma's boss! <laughs> That's right, Paul. All your best friends are here. <laughs> We're happy now. We got what we wanted. No. No. Mr. Davidson didn't want to become a mindless alien slave. He wanted to be choked by his wife. <laughs> while he jerked off. I forgot about that scene. Why'd you have to remind me? He didn't care about saving the planet. Back off, Greenpeace girl. I pull this pin and you're all toast. You wouldn't do that, Paul. I sure as hell will. And what about you? You die too. Is that what you want? It doesn't matter what I want. We think it does, Paul. And we want to hear about it. <laughs> Is he gonna sing? I think there's a song in you yet. What's in your soul? Is your heart I wonder what his singing voice is gonna be like. I cannot fathom it right now. Just let it out. There's a voice inside of you on the edge of coming through. What's it about? And I know it's a singular voice, Mark. You've just got to give up the choice. Just let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. <laughs> <laughs> he started dancing. Let it out, let it out, let it out. <laughs> Just let it out, let it out, let it out. Let it out, let it out. Never! <laughs> it's your proximity to the meteor pole. The air in here is thick with its spores. Feel your apotheosis begin as they take root in your mind. Did you really think we'd let you kill us? You'll be one of us before you can pull that pin. What was that? You let it out. Was that a note? But just a sound. <laughs> and I felt like coming round to a round scheme. Oh, God. Mm. Just stop it. <laughs> I like the mix of talking and singing. It's like going back and forth. And I did. I'm coming apart at the seams. La da da da. <laughs> He does that, like, knee thing so smoothly. Holy crap. Let it out, let it out. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Just let it out, let it out, let it out. Let it out, let it Plot twist, he's just faking. I've never been happy. Wouldn't that be nice? Is this the secret? Singing and dancing through life is my integrity worth anything at all? But happy. Man, there's some nice lyrics in this thing. Fall. Am I crazy? Maybe I've always been. That piano's hidden for me. Or maybe I never did. It's so freeing now to share the hate I felt. But what will I let in if I let it out? Let it out. Let it out. Am I crazy? I don't think so. Let it out. Let it out. Let it out. Maybe I've always been just let it out. Just blows up everything.
<laughs> so is Paul gonna die? This is the morning Clive's Daily News with Rachel and Rod. It's been two weeks since tragedy struck our sister city of Hatchetfield. Candlelight vigils line the streets bright. as Clivesdale citizens try to make sense of this unspeakable loss. Every last man, woman, and child in Hatchetfield gone in the blink of an eye. A meteor and a ruptured gas line was all it took to wipe them off the map. But it will take much, much more to wipe them from our hearts. <laughs> Is she ready to go? They said everyone died, but... Oh, I'm okay, so like doing Kelly. they did live. Uh, yeah. Why did it have to be Kelly? I liked my old name. Couldn't you at least pick something <laughs> similar, their names like changed. Emma too. Lee, or... That's all I can think of. That's a negative, Kelly. You'll get used to it. In the meantime, we can't have anyone making any connections between you and Emma Perkins, who perished in the Hatchetfield catastrophe. Yeah, that was the other thing. You couldn't even give me a cool death? Like, Emma Perkins, her, her flesh melted off while she was shielding children. You know, something <laughs> heroic. I mean, it was my idea to destroy the meteor, after all. And Uncle Sam is not ungrateful. Here, Kelly. What about Paul? <laughs> Inside, you'll find a new passport. I'm so guessing he's dead, to be honest. Deed to a five-acre plot of land in Colorado. Green. Fertile. Hell of a place to grow some cannabis. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Colonel Schaefer, you're sure there were no other survivors? We've been through this, Kelly. There were no survivors. Save for one pocket-sized squirrel we found burrowed in the chest of a local woodworker. <laughs> oh, peanuts! I'm glad he got out of there. <laughs> now that is a story we can disclose to the public. In the wake of a tragedy like this, a little bit of good news goes a long way. Yeah. It's just, um... Are they lying to her about Paul? Paul. He was a good man, Kelly. If not for his sacrifice, the outbreak would have spread to the mainland. It was contained in Hatchetfield, but if it had gotten loose here in Clivesdale, there'd be no stopping it. Goodbye, Kelly. Good luck with the pot farm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh! One more thing. He'll be escorted to Colorado by a Mr. Ben Bridges. He's waiting outside. Oh, I, I don't know any Ben Bridges. That's gonna oh, be According boring. to our records, you two are very good friends. Peep would like to see it become something more. <laughs> oh my god! Paul! You made it! <laughs> we made it! <laughs> Sorry, I was wondering if he was gonna sing. Huh? Emma, I'm sorry you lost <laughs> your way. Oh, you're scaring me. I'm what if I told you I made it? This is the life that I chose. Huh? What do you even believe in? I cannot tell if he's an alien. What? I assume so. Settled all the dust. I'm still the man you trust. It's inevitable for us. No! Get away from me! You're not Paul! You're one of them! Oh, I had no ambition. Now my life is a song. Don't you want to see? This has a bit of a groove going on. So, Rip Paul. They're calling back to like every song. Show me those hands. Show me those hands. 
So do the aliens just like a win? Not how I expected that to end. Genuinely surprised. A big part of me thought they were gonna go for like a real cliche ending. You know, like, oh, we resolved it, everything worked out fine. They get together and live happily ever after with their new identities. But I'm glad that's not the way it went because that overall felt anything but cliche. <laughs> I don't really have like, Words. <laughs> that was strange, but awesome. Very surreal. Twisty and just not what I thought I was in for, like at all. But I'm glad I watched it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to click that like button. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.